Good morning, class. My name is Teacher Hannah. Before we start our class, let us pray first. And our assigned prayer is Hannah Vibar. So good morning, teacher. Good morning, classmates. Let us all pray in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord and Father of all, thank you for today. Thank you for your ways in which you provide for us all. For your protection and love, we thank you. Help us to focus our hearts and minds now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much, Hannah Vibar. Let's proceed to the checking of attendance. Romeo is assigned for today. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, classmates. I'm glad to tell you that all is present today. Thank you so much. Before we start our discussion, let us all read our class reminders. First is be prepared for class. Have everything you need within reach. Next, please. Be respectful. Respect your teachers and classmates. Keep your microphone on mute. This is to reduce background noise and distractions. Next is be fully present. Pay attention and participate actively. And remove distractions. Keep online class on full-time class. <laughs> now, we are all going to sing. So please unmute all of your microphone and remember to follow my steps because we're we're going to sing and dance. Are you guys ready? Yes, teacher. Me too. I'm so excited. Wait, guys, okay. Wait, wait, class, okay. Here, here we go. Again, all of us will sing. All of us, okay? Are you guys there? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. teacher. We are your eyes. We are your eyes. Our justice is seeking to grow. Your mercy is seeking to grow. Into your eyes, to your the crystal clear transparent layer is called the corny. It lets us see the colored iris every day. The black center in your iris is called your beautiful, which brings up to the focus of the light. Then we travel through your infantry as usual, where it's a clear jelly of tissue, my friends. The red and the big couple pounds with five percent of the inside of your eye, you should know. Your optical nerve can be in the middle back of your eye, but your brain is where your nerve will go. We are your eyes. We are your eyes. We are your eyes. If you guys enjoy, I enjoyed a lot. Good job, guys. You are all great singers. Now, Wewe, what can you say about the song? It's very nice, teacher. I love the song. I agree. What else can you say, Carmela? The song included that we should take care of our eyes properly because it is one of the most important sensory organs. Very good. Again, I'm going to ask. After singing and following my steps earlier, can you tell me, Hannah Vibar, what is the most important organ that we have? 
teacher. It is I. Very good. Um. Okay, I'm going to ask every one of you. I want you guys to close your eyes and imagine a world without a sight. Can you say, what can you say if we do not have a sense of sight? Close your eyes first and imagine. Okay, who wants to answer? Where, where do you want to answer? Yes, teacher. It is very hard to see, teacher, because we cannot see anything. Great. That clearly explains that without our eyes, the world as we each knew would seem like a different place. Although our eyes are both small, they have different quirks that work together that allows us to see. In that case, let us call teacher B to understand more the structure of our eyes. Thank you, teacher Hannah. So let's dig deeper on the different parts of our eyes and its function through an eye diagram that I will present. But before that, what do you think is the function of our eyes? Anyone? Anyone who wants to answer? Okay, Carmela, go ahead. Teacher, I think our eyes allow us to see all the Very. things us. Very good. We see through our eyes. Sight is one of the five senses. Five senses includes our eyes to see, our ears to hear, our nose to smell, our tongue to taste, and our skin to feel. In short, the five senses are seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, and touching, which, help, which helps us to learn about our surroundings. But today, we are going to focus on our eyes. So the human eyes is one of the most valuable sense organs, just like what you hear on the song. It enables us to see the world. Let us discover the different parts of our eyes and their function. So as you can see, I have here the eye diagram. Let us identify each part and its function. I want you all to observe and look closely to the diagram. Let's start naming each part from the top here to bottom. So can some someone please read this part or name this part? Hannah? Teacher, that is the eyebrows. Very good. Eyebrows. Eyebrows are the line of hair above the eye. Okay, next part, this one, Carmela. <coughs> that is eyelid. Very good, eyelids. So the eyelid are the pieces of skin above and below the eye that covers when you close your eyes. And for the third part, this one, Romeo, can you answer? This is our eyelashes, teacher. Okay, eyelashes. Eyelashes are the hairs growing on the edge of the eyelids. And the other three parts are pupil, sclera, and iris. So the, the function of the eyebrows and eyelashes is they work together to protect our eyes from sweat, dust, and other foreign particles. And just and the function of our eyelids, just like the eyebrows and eyelashes, it also protect our eyes. Eyelids shut out light so we can sleep and also blink so they can, so they can keep moist over our cornea. So as you can see in the eye chart or the eye diagram, you will notice that, that our eyelashes are located at the border of each eyelid. So the walls of the human eye are composed of three basic layers. The outer layer middle layer, and inner layer. So here's another eye diagram. Let's first discuss parts for the outer layer of the eye. First part, can you read this one? Hannah? Teacher, that is sclera. Yes, this, that is our sclera. Sclera is the top white skin that covers the outside of the eyeball, which forms the surround or the supporting wall of our eyeball. It is made up of the outer layer of the eye. Also, 
three parts of muscles move the eye that is attached to the sclera. So next part, can you read this one? Lemuel? That is our cornea teacher. Right, cornea. Cornea is the transparent part of the coat of the eyeball. It acts like a camera lens. And its function is it focuses on the light that is coming in through it. And with the lens, it makes sure that the image that reaches the back of the eye is in focus. So uh, the outer layer of the eye consists of sclera and cornea. Again, sclera and cornea makes up the, the what? Outer layer of the eye. Very good. So, let us proceed to the middle layer of our eye, which is called the choroid layer. Again, the middle layer is called? Choroid layer. Very good. So, can someone read this part or name this part? Teacher, that is Iris. Very good, Carmela. So, the choroid layer contains numerous tiny blood vessels that nourish the eyes. The frontal part of this layer is the iris, this one. So, the function of our iris is it works like a camera shutter. If our cornea is like a camera lens, our iris is like a camera shutter, where it controls the amount of light that enters our eyes. Iris has muscles in that it has muscles in it that makes your pupil larger or smaller, depending on how much light is in the area around you. Okay, let's continue on the next part. Can you read this one, Lemuel? That is our pupil teacher. Very good. That is our pupil. So the pupil is the small opening in the middle of our iris. Its function is to regulate the amount of light entering the eye. So as you can see in the illustration, in bright light, the opening of the pupil becomes smaller so that a lesser light or the lesser amount of light enters the eye. While on the dim light, our pupil is opened wider so that more light passes the eye. Okay, on to the next part. Can you please read its name? Hana? Sure, that is the lens. Very good. That is the lens. The light that enters the pupil strikes the part called the lens. It focuses on the light that comes into the pupil and it's located right behind the pupil. So if this is our pupil, this is where the, lo the lens is located. So let's have a short experiment. Do you have a pencil or ball pen with you? Yes. Or anything, any object? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay, I want you to close your one eye like this. Like this. And bring the pencil close to the open eye like this. Make sure you can see it. Now, bring the pencil or the object close to your eye. Bring it closer. Closer. That's right. Now, my question is, does it become blurry? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. It became blurry. Well, that's the job or the function of the lens. It focuses and defocuses depending on how far the object is from your eye. When we look at near objects, the shape of the lens becomes thicker. When we look at distant objects, the lens becomes thinner. Now, I want you to close your eyes and touch it using your fingers, like this one. Do you notice that your eyes feel like balls? Yes, teacher. Yes, that's why it is called the eyeballs. So the eyeball is a hollow sphere that is divided into two cavities. So each eyeball is set in a protective cavity in your skull. So it is held in place by muscles. These muscles let your eyes rotate slightly up, down, and sideways. So 
Next one is this. This is the aqueous humor. So the cavity between the cornea and lens is filled with a transparent watery fluid called the aqueous humor. Its function is it prevents the eye from collapsing due to changes in atmospheric pressure. Next is this one. Can someone read it? This large cavity here. Anyone? Yes, Carmela? Teacher, that is the vitreous humor. Very good. This is the vitreous humor. So the large cavity behind the lens is filled with a colorless, jelly-like liquid called the vitreous humor. Its function is it, it helps in maintaining the shape of the eye. So, the middle layer of the eye consists of the following. The iris, pupil, lens, aqueous humor, and vitreous humor. Again, Lemuel, can you repeat what consists of the middle layer or what composes the middle layer? Yes, teacher. The middle layer consists of iris, pupil, lens, aqueous humor, and vitreous humor. Very good. So, finally, the inner layer. It consists of, first, this one. Can you read this, Hana? Or can you name this part? Teacher, that is the retin retina. Very good. Retina. Ciliary muscles attached to the choroid layer hold the lens in place. And its job is to turn the light into electrical pulses will get soon to the brain. So the inner layer is a screen of sen light-sensitive cells called the retina. So the function of retina is the light turns into electrical pulses that will get sent to our brain. Okay, can you please name this part, um, this one, Romeo? Teacher, that is optic nerve. Okay. So the last part that makes up the inner layer is called the optic nerve. At the ear of the eye, the retina is attached to the optic nerve, which carries impulses from li from the light sensitive cells of to the brain. So its function is is it transfers visual information via electrical impulses. And additional information, the innermost layer of the retina contains the light-sensitive cells called the rod and cone. So rods are sensitive to the weak light but not to color. Cones are sensitive to color but require bright light to function. So let us review what consists of the inner layer of the eye or what composes the inner layer of the eye. Can someone name the parts? Yes, Hana. Sure, the retina and the optic nerve. Okay, very good. Now, let us review all the parts of the eye from the outer layer, middle layer, and to the inner layer. I want you, class, to unmute your mic. Okay, is everyone's mic already turned on? Yes, Okay, sir. let's read it all together. <laughs> Okay, first, let's start with this part. Sclera. Sclera. Next, this one. Cornea. Cornea. Next, this. Iris. Iris. Next, this one. Pupil. Pupil. Next, this. Lens. Lens. This one. Aqueous humor. Aqueous humor. Aqueous humor. This large part here. It shows humor. Okay, vitreous humor. And this one? Retina. Retina. And the last one is? Optic nerve. Optic nerve. And the three parts that were mentioned earlier, which is the? Eyebrow. Eyebrow. This one? Eyelashes. 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 Eyelashes and? The eye. Very good, class. 
you might have been wondering how these parts work together which helps us to see. We are going to find that out. So our eyes need lights to see, right? Yes. Am I yes. right? Yes. yes. So I want you to watch and listen carefully to the short video that I will show you. So now I will play the video, Teacher Hannah. Do you see it? Well then, let's talk about seeing. Seeing is another of our senses that is amazingly sophisticated. We look, see, and watch the world around us, yet we never stop to think how. Well, yes, it is obvious that our eyes do the seeing part, but how exactly? Did you ever wonder about your sense of sight and how it works? I'll show you. Your eye is almost like a ball. The dark circle in the center of your eye is called an iris. The small black spot in its center is called the pupil. Very well. The pupil is like a window of a room. It can open wide or shut narrow to let just the right amount of light come inside the eye. You can see it yourself. Go to a dark room and your pupil becomes bigger to allow more light in. If you move to a well-lit place, the iris will shrink to allow only the required amount of light in. This light passes through the cornea, the aqueous humor, and lens to fall onto the retina. The retina is a super sensitive surface with lots of optic nerve endings. These nerves take the upside down image from the retina to the brain, which must first invert it and then make sense of it. The pupil and the lens continuously keep adjusting so that you can see the most clear image of the world. For some people, these adjustments are not enough, but these problems can easily be corrected using glasses. So if you need them, get them. If you already have glasses, well, then wear them. That's smart. Okay, thank you, teacher Hana. So in short, wait, I will we'll go back to our presentation. So in short, when you look at something, the light rays reflected from the object enter the eye. The light is reflected by the cornea and passes through the aqueous humor and pupil to the lens. As the light travels to your eyes, the lens focuses the image of the object on the retina. The image of the object in the retina is inverted. As the image is formed, the optic nerves send the messa message to the brain it is the brain that interprets and corrects the inverted image into an upright position. Do you now understand the process of how we can see things around us? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. It is possible that all of the parts that we discussed earlier work together so well and so quick that we don't even realize it's happening. We just see the Im images of what we see right away. So we should always be thankful that we can see things through our eyes and take care of them, right? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. And by that, we are ending our discussion on the parts and function of the eyes. Also, how it allows us to see. Thank you for that wonderful explanation, Teacher B. Now, let's wrap up. Okay, Lemuel. Give me at least one part of the eye and its function. Sclera, teacher. Okay, what's the function? It is the outer white layer. I, it is the outermost layer of the eye. Very good. Next, Hannah Vibar, share another part of the eye and its function. Teacher, the eyebrows. The function is to protect our eyes from dust particles. Very good. Next, please. Okay, Romeo. What do you think is the importance of the function of each part? The importance of each part's function is they work together for us to see things, and each part is connected to one another. That if one part have a problem, it may affect it may affect our whole sense of sight. That's why all these parts function is important. Well said, Romeo. I love that you're listening so well. Okay, next part, please. 
again, good job, guys. Guys, let us now give our floor to our next teacher, Teacher M. Let's proceed to our short activity, which is entitled Get Me and My Function. Please be ready to participate in our short activity. We are ready. So, thank you. Let's proceed to our instructions. Now, here are the instructions. First, we have to do that out the piece of paper that contains the function of the part of the eye, and you're prepared to print the table that I have sent to you last week. The printed table looks like this. So, Carmela, Anna, Romeo, and Mike, do you have your printed table? Yes. Very good. Next slide. So, I have prepared one thick bowl that has pieces of paper that contains the function of the parts of the eye. So, I will get the pieces of paper and from your prepared table, you will match the part of the eye to its function. So I will use this paper for the function of the part of the eye twice. Is that clear? So last, I will give additional three minutes to finalize your answer sheet. And after three minutes, you will present your words to the group. So let's begin with our short activity. So first, it is the large strategy behind the lens which is filled with a color net, jelly like liquid that helps in maintaining the shape of the eye. Again, it is the large strategy behind the lens which is filled with a color net. Jelly-like liquid that helps in maintaining the shape of the eye. Are you done? Yes, for. It is the part of the eye that is used to change the focal length of the eye so that it can focus on objects at largest distance. It is the part used to change the focal length of the eye so that it can focus on objects at various distances. Are you done? Yes, for. It is the colored part of our eye and it controls the amount of light that enters the eye. Again, it is the colored part of our eye and it controls the amount of light that enters the eye. Let's go to the next point. This is a part to the optic nerve which carries impulses from the light sensitive cells to the brain. Again, this is a touch to the optic nerve which carries impulses from the light sensitive cells to the brain. Are you done? So next, it acts like a camera lens. It acts like a camera lens. So next function, this is the top white screen that forms the outside of the idol. It forms the supporting wall of our idol. Again, it is the top white screen that covers the outside of the idol, and it forms the supporting wall of our idol. Are you done? 
Each time first, this was information from the retina to the vision centers of the brain via electrical impulses. Again, each time first, this was information from the retina to the vision centers of the brain via electrical impulses. So for our last, which is the small opening in the middle of the iris that regulates the amount of light entering the eye by adjusting the size of the pupil. Again, it is the small opening in the middle of the iris that regulates that regulates the amount of light entering the eye by adjusting the the size of the pupil. Are you done? Are you finished, class? Yes. So let's proceed to the presentation of your assessment. Please present your work, Romeo. Sight at least two parts of the eye and their Cornea, its function is it acts like a camera lens. Iris, its function, it is the colored part of our eyes. It controls the amount of light that enters the eye. Very good. Yeah. Right. Can you share your eyes first? Yes, please. And now, before we end our class for today, please get your notebooks and pencil and write down the instruction for your assignment. Is everyone ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Me too. Okay, again, get your notebooks and write it down. Number one, interview three persons and ask them how they take care of their eyes. Number two, list down their answers and prepare to share their answers in the next meeting. Is there any question about our assignment? Well, do you have any question? None, teacher. It is very clear. Thank you for that. Very good, 
very good class. Now, all of you may clean up and fix your things before we go and end our class today and be ready to sing my favorite song, our goodbye song. Are you guys ready? Yes, teacher. Everyone will follow teacher hand. Okay. I cannot hear you guys. Hello, teacher. Hello. Teacher. Okay. Can you hear us? Yes. Oh yeah, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye to you, Mr. Everyone. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to you. I cannot hear you guys. Goodbye to you, everyone. Good morning. Bye. Goodbye. Next time, everyone. Goodbye. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. Next time, everyone. I see you next time, everyone. Goodbye to you. 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 Again, goodbye, everyone. It was a very, very great class night because I know that everyone listened to us. Very good class. You are all great singers. Thank you for participating in our class today. Goodbye, everyone, and see you all again in our next session. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you, teachers. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.